Welcome to Pro Upcast News, where we bring you daily industry updates. Today is Monday, December 7th, and you're watching the Afternoon Update with Sarah Fletcher. Today's news is sponsored by... Sunderland Group, your success, our tradition. For more information, visit www.sunderlandgroup.com. Now for today's headlines. The Obama administration will in upcoming days significantly slash cost estimates related to the Troubled Asset Relief Program, or TARP. In fact, the program's costs will likely be cut as, by as much as $200 billion. The improved outlook is due to banks having, in recent months, repaid taxpayer funds to the government. To date, banks have returned some $71 billion to taxpayers, the Department of Treasury reports. As a result of this, the long-term cost of TARP is expected to be forecast as $141 billion, a big drop from a previously projected $341 billion. In economic news, U.S. Federal Reserve Chairman Ben Bernanke today announced that, while the U.S. economy has improved, the jobless rate may remain elevated for some time. Speaking to the Economic Club of Washington, Bernanke said, quote, We still have some ways to go before we can be assured that the recovery will be self-sustaining. Also at issue is whether the recovery will create the large number of jobs that will be needed to materially bring down the unemployment rate, unquote. These remarks come about a week before the Federal Open Market Committee gathers in Washington for a two-day meeting, at which the central bank is expected to hold interest rates at the current level. Also in economic news, the price per barrel for oil this morning dipped to $75 on the New York Mercantile Exchange, amid an increasing value of the U.S. dollar. In fact, the cost of light sweet crude for January delivery this morning fell $0.46 cents to $75.01 a barrel. Finally, this figure is compared to the price per barrel having dipped $0.99 cents Friday to settle at $75.47, according to reports. I'm Sarah Fletcher, and thanks for watching ProUpcast News. For more in-depth news and features, visit ProducersWeb.com.